Martin, the member from Huron, Greece. Thank you very much, Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. Minister, in February, my colleague from Great Briefs Owen Sound and I asked you to visit the Chesley Restorative Care Unit that was scheduled to close on May 1st. Since then, we've read hundreds of petitions into this House, and we've sent you multiple letters about this valuable program. Yet two months later, you haven't come to visit the site to see the great work that is being done. You haven't. Locally, the South Bruce Gray Health Centre Board of Directors have chosen to dig into their reserves to extend this program to June 1st. So, Minister, will you commit today to keeping the Chesley Restorative Care Unit open and ensure this outstanding program is available to residents in rural Ontario? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I appreciate the question. Uh, and I know the, uh, the health centre at the Chesley site is extremely important to the community. And that's why, when that first question was posed, when I became aware, when my ministry informed me of the specifics uh, with regards to one unit, the restorative care unit at Chesley, that was a pilot project that began a number of years ago, uh, when we learned of the intention of the hospital to close that union, unit, rather, uh, I immediately engaged the LIN, the Local Health Integration Network, uh, to make sure that we provided the resources that we needed to do. In fact, they stepped in and created a review process. Ah, and despite the fact that the hospital actually uh, wanted to close this on May the 1st, we implored them to give the review through the, the LIN the, uh, the ample amount of time to actually look at the situation and review it properly. Uh, so the hospital has agreed, in fact, to extend with the support that we're providing through the LIN to extend that period of time to allow the review to continue. Yeah, look at Supplementary. You know, please come and let the community show you the amazing work that they're doing because, quite frankly, your government's blatant disregard for frontline health care in rural Ontario has to come to an end. Ooh. Hospitals are in disrepair, services are being cut, frontline health care workers are being fired, 68 RPNs in the riding of Nipissing alone. And what did you announce last week in the budget? Sadly, it wasn't more investment in frontline health care, Minister. It was another bureaucratic layer of 69 community health links. Seriously, Minister, we need help in rural Ontario. My colleague, Christine Elliott, the Whitby Oshawa MPP, Serve recently education. visited Come to order. Harden Hospital. And she was appalled to see the condition your government has allowed the Concordon Hospital to deteriorate to over the last 10 years. Minister, will you commit Question. today to coming and visiting both Chesley and Concordon Hospitals and ensure that rural Ontario's frontline health care is the best it can be? Minister. Well, uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm astounded that, uh, well, just like she invited me to visit Chesley, uh, I would invite her to visit any one of the 69 health links that already exist in the province, that if she was to visit those and understand Order. the important work they're doing. You don't understand health links. The member from Huron, Bruce, will come to order. You ask the question. Carry on. So she would understand the important work that Health Links are doing to support the 5% of the Ontario population. I find that a challenge to me, so you're warned. Carry on. Mr. Speaker, so I would ch I would ask her to visit any one of the health links across this province. She may want to go to one near Leamington because she can visit the Leamington Hospital, as I was just talking about, and ask them about the process that I put underway Answer. with the local Lynn, as I did with Chesley, to ensure that the right decision is is made, and it's a decision that supports the local community, and it's a decision that is driven by strong community support. Thank you. I'd ask her to start by informing. Thank you.